Hey, I'm Dr. Doug Stein. I'm now going to demonstrate how we disassemble a Metajet after a day of use. The Metajet has been used on a series of patients. It still has a little bit of 2% uh, lidocaine in it. I'm going to take the head off, throw away the excess lidocaine, and now I'd like to rinse out the Meta Jet with a little distilled water. The folks at Meta say that if you actually rinse it with a little Meta side, which has a surfactant in it, then it might eliminate the 2% um, lidocaine even more completely. I feel pretty comfortable uh, just spraying through, pushing through a whole bunch of distilled water here, and that gets out the um, 2% lidocaine to my satisfaction. So now I take the fill chamber off the head, take the spacer off the extended tip, and I also, I think you can see that I've got a little bit still in the head here, and I like it to be completely free of water when it's being autoclaved. So if I take this off, you have to be careful of a little washer that's here, I think you can see from the wetness on here that there was even a little bit of extra water in here. So now all of these are free to dry. I take a towel and I wrap all these components in the towel. First the body like this, roll the towel, and then put the rest of the tuck the rest of the components in like so, so that they all are protected by the padding provided by the towel. Roll this up, and now I take the clean Meta Jet and put that into a standard sterilization pouch like this. Slide that in, close the pouch, and then I'm left with this, which goes into the autoclave. This one has already been put onto the autoclave and is ready for use the next day. So it's as simple as that. The next day we open up the sterile pouch and then proceed to fill the Meta Jet with 2% light to reassemble it, tighten the extended tip on the head, and then uh, prepare it and put it into a um, the graduate that comes with the Meta Jet that's filled to about here with Meta side. Simple as that.